Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another Scorpio love reading. Uh, thank you guys so, so much for your support on my channel. I really do appreciate each and every one of you Scorpios. Uh, Scorpio, it is almost fall, and uh, shout out still to the Virgos, uh, shout out to the Libras, and then, of course, then, of course, shout out to all of the Scorpios. But let, let's not get ahead of ourselves, Scorpio. Uh, I feel a very, very beautiful shift in your energy. Uh, like, like I always say, uh, you know, here lately, because, you know, we are transitioning into a new season, that the new season brings new opportunities to Scorpio's way in every area of your life. But you have to have been doing that spiritual work in your preparation, either your mantras, your affirmations, your spiritual work, uh, your healing, all of those things can determine your newness in your new season because this is the season of harvest. So Scorpio, this is a general love reading, so it's not going to resonate with every single Scorpio now. Uh, so only take the part that fits and discard the rest, Scorpio. Thank you to all of my viewers, all of my new subscribers. I appreciate you guys for subscribing to my channel. Uh, of course, if you are new, welcome. Thank you to all of my Scorpios. Uh, and if you are new and my energy resonates, I ask that you please subscribe to this channel. Uh, hit that notification bell to all because we're going to start going live Um on Friday evenings, it's going to be the Scorpio love chat. Okay, uh, we're going to be doing it through Streamyard, uh, wh where we got where we can uh, interact and talk to each other, uh, and we're just going to find out some things pertaining to life uh, from a Scorpio's perspective. And, and you know, Scorpio, you know, we're going to have a lot of cross watchers and, and other people too. But this is our thing for us, Scorpio, and uh, I know that Spirit will guide us in the direction we need to go. And I feel like. The right energies will also be a part of this, Scorpio. Uh, so I'm going to start this reading uh, with the Oracle deck here. I love this deck. True Love Reading Cards, just in case you guys want to know. It's the True Love Reading Cards here. They're so beautiful here. <clears throat> and we're just going to see what Spirit wants you to know, Scorpio. Now, your overall energy in this deck is maturity. Maturity here. So this is your overall energy here. I see there is some type of connection coming your way, some type of romantic connection, some type of spiritual connection that is coming your way as well, Scorpio. Let's see. I'm going to pull a couple of cards out here. Spirit, what does Scorpio need to know pertaining to Scorpio's true love? Spirit, show me Scorpio's true love. Who is coming towards Scorpio in true love? Spirit, show me. Ooh, Scorpio, I hope this video finds you doing amazing, Scorpio. I hope you are keeping your energy positive and um, I see boundaries popped out. We're going to see what that's about. Look at you. Boundaries, but it's, it's, maybe you're heavily protected here. Maybe that's what spirit wants you to know that you're extremely protected. And then underneath the bottom, you have commitment. Ooh, shakala. Ooh. Scorpio, you know you be having that commitment here. Oh, that's your overall energy, or that's the energy underneath the bottom is commitment here, Scorpio. So let's start off with your maturity here. Now, I've, I've read these before, but I'm going to read them again because it, it's sometimes, you know, spirit, you know, these oracle cards, these tarot cards, they're, they're here to relay messages to us from the beyond, I feel like, on an energetic, spiritual way. Uh, so maybe this is something that you need to know uh, in order to... Uh, enhance the work that you're already doing or maybe to give you a heads up to let you know that you're, you're right where you're supposed to be uh, that things are about to get better for you or maybe there are some changes that you need to make uh, because since this is the true true love uh, oracle cards then I feel like this is telling you how to attract the true love for Scorpio you could tell that that's a soulmate connection look at them they just oh two hearts coming together Scorpio creates love look at that heart so let's start with commitment here. I mean, excuse me, let's start with maturity here. Now, this card, Scorpio says, it says, as emotion an emotionally mature person knows that they are responsible for their own happiness. But you have to be emotionally mature in order to know that it's it's on you. You emotionally mature person knows that their happiness is in their hands because we are the magicians of our lives here. It says, Scorpio, you have drawn this card today because the universe wants you to experience real love, happiness, 
attractiveness, and security, not the false versions that evaporate the minute you or you are on your own. Take some time to contemplate your emotional maturity. Write your feelings in a journal or meditate. Let your inner guidance show you where you can love, acknowledge, and support yourself more. Uh, your beloved is there to complement and enhance your existing emotional maturity to add to your life and for you to be an asset to his or hers. Uh, the sooner you are prepared to take responsibility for your own happiness, Scorpio, the sooner a loving partner will become available to multiply that happiness. So what spirit is saying is you're only going to attract what is in you. If you have did some self-love, some self-healing, and you've been doing a lot of spiritual work on yourself, you have love for yourself, then you will attract more of that love in your partner is what spirit is saying. But if you're, you're lacking confidence, you got lack mentality, you're not doing good, guess what? You're going to attract that energy too. So now you have connection here. Let me find it. Okay, connection. It's like somebody wants to take you out, but you already got a commitment. It's like somebody may want to take you out and wine you and dine you. They may be on the beach at a at a live video because there's some music coming from somewhere. Look at look look at them notes. Look at all them love notes coming through there. It's a love. They they listen to love music, Scorpio. Look at them. All that there on the beach. He done came and gave her a gift with a couple of big head hunt. Look, I look, I'm just saying. Look, it, it, it's my version. So if I say he put a couple of hundreds in this envelope, then it's money in this envelope, okay? <laughs> He said, look, mom, I know you don't need it, but I was just thinking about you. I couldn't just give you a car without giving you some, baby. And now you know how I do. You, you, they, they sipping on Cristal and shit. Look, look at that. Look, look, you comfortable. You done had you a couple. You feeling good. You walk. Some of y'all may be taking a cruise or a trip. Someone may invite you out here too. Isn't this beautiful to a tropical island on the beach? Oh, Scorpio, that's so beautiful. Okay, so connections. It says, Scorpio, you have drawn this card today because your heart yearns for a fulfilling connection with another human being and meaningful connection in which beautiful truths are revealed, honored, and shared. If you are manifesting a new relationship, be sure to spend some time considering how you will connect and communicate with the person coming into your life this time around. In an existing relationship, Scorpio, consider the areas in which you withhold your sharing and merely listen tolerantly until you have can have your say. In both cases, you can consider what you may do to facilitate greater connections with the other. Take a genuine interest in what they say and do. Ask questions and don't just assume you understand. Then acknowledge what you have heard with a simple compliment or expression of gratitude. Be prepared to speak about yourself, Scorpio, your life, your beliefs, your dreams and feelings in meaningful depths. Uh, what do you believe in? What do you stand for? What are, your, what are you passionate about? What gift would you like to share with the world? When you are prepared to reveal your truth to another, your connection will deepen and become so much more fulfilling. See, Spirit finna send you someone who's gonna open up to you. You ain't gonna have to keep pulling no goddamn tarot cards to figure out how he feel. No, baby, because you're gonna have this maturity about yourself. You've already done your spiritual work, so you're gonna attract the like-minded energy to you. This is why it's gonna be a hell of a connection here. Now, this boundaries here. I wonder what this be about here. Now, let's see. I hope Spirit ain't telling you to guard yourself, Scorpio. Let's see. Let's see here. Now, let's see what boundaries is. Or maybe you got too many boundaries up here. It says, a clear and healthy sense of self is a great foundation for love. Okay. So it says, you have drawn this card today, Scorpio. It's time for you to look at the way you have set your personal boundaries in the past as well as the present. Take a gentle look at what those boundaries have created for you in your life so far and resolve to reset them where necessary. 
Ask your angels and guides to support you in communicating more lovingly and clearly from now on. They talking about this Scorpio boundary. Now, we know this Scorpio boundary ain't no joke. Look at all these booba traps she got. you got set around your heart. You can't even get to her heart. Your, your heart, you, you, look, you, you got something in front of your heart. You got metal. You got the owl that's always watching all around you. You got the tiger. You got five, you, 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 you amped up. You got some heavy hell of a boundaries. I said, you ain't seen no boundary till you seen a Scorpio boundary. But spirit like, God dang, Scorpio, how you going to get anything if you got your boundaries up? Just, 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 ease, just, just take your foot off the pedal just a little bit. You know, we are in the 35 mile per hour and you're doing 80. Please just, just, just pull back just a little bit and you will be amazed of what is going to happen, Scorpio. What You have something. When once you let your guards down just a little bit, just tweak it just a little bit. The spirit is going to really show you some things. But I feel like your boundaries has just been a protection mechanism uh, because... You desire love, but you're scared to give it. So you may give just a little bit, but you're going to hold back so much more because you don't have time for that shit and you don't like getting your heart broke. But how are you going to get it? Especially if you're manifesting, how are you going to even know if you've set too many boundaries? So let go of the Scorpio boundaries so that you can have this commitment that is coming, Scorpio. So you have commitment here. Let's see. This is a soulmate commitment too, Scorpio. They try to be here forever, forever, ever, forever, ever, Scorpio. They don't want to never, ever, ever go nowhere, okay? <laughs> y'all going to take y'all last breath together. How about that? Is that, is that good enough? <laughs> y'all going to die the ripe old age in the bed, which it depends on happy, okay? <laughs> okay, Scorpio, commitment. It says a healthy commitment is the unshakable bedrock of a loving, secure relationship. It says, okay, commit, commitment can be a person or a key to freedom and great uh, personal growth. Uh, Scorpio, you have drawn this card today because your angels and guides are reminding you to commit or recommit to your own happiness before you begin a new relationship or attempt to revive the one you are currently in. True commitment is not about trying to get more from the other person or signing contracts that hang the threat of legal recourse overhead should one of you grow in an unexpected direction. The unhealthy commitments of trying to change or rescue someone become a draining obligation in which no one can truly be happy. When you are ready to commit to your life and who you need to be, an appropriate love match will appear with a commitment that equals your own. See? Ooh, spirit's so sweet. This is so beautiful, Scorpio. You see how spirit know you so well? It says stop trying to hold. And, and you know, I joke a lot about... Uh, you know, your relationships giving it to you and doing things for you. And, and, and that never changed that because I honestly feel like that, but I feel like it should be equally given back and forth. But I can understand why a person would set boundaries because who wants to give for nothing, but really, you're really not. And, and I just feel like Scorpio just don't want to ever feel that type of pain again. You only going to give so much. And I feel like that's a healthy boundary too. But I also feel like what is coming for you, you're going to have to be open, available, and ready because you have a soulmate. And I, and I ain't seen a soulmate card, but you got a hell of a connection in a commitment coming in because you have grown up, Scorpio. You have learned from your mistakes. Therefore, you are setting healthy boundaries here. You're not unapproachable. You're not, you know, you know, folks can't even come to you because you see somebody come, you're like, oh, shit, here, here they come. You can read a person's energy, honey, and they ain't got to say nothing. You can read their energy and know whether or not they want to be bothered with you or not. But the since you have grown so spiritually and look, you're so mature, you, you're going to set the right boundaries to attract this commitment, which is your true love that you've always wanted, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio. Now let's move on over here to the tarot. Yeah. So Scorpio, your overall energy in your tarot or your tarot is the ace of swords here. 
A Libra Gemini and Aquarius is energy here. This is a major breakthrough. A new opportunity could be signing a contract, uh, could be winning a court case here. Uh, could be breaking through, could be cutting out things that no longer serve you. You could be about to find out some truth here, clarity here. But I also feel like this is a major breakthrough of, of something maybe you have been struggling with. Oh, and you got the Ace of Wands. I see the Ace of Wands. You got the Ace Ace in this place, okay? Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands for Scorpio. Let's see. Spirit, show me what's coming to a Scorpio in love. You got the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands here. Let's see. All right, Spirit, show me Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know pertaining to love? Ooh. Pardon me, Scorpio. All right, Spirit, show me Scorpio's love. Ooh. <laughs> Shit. Ah, you got a lot. Of, you got a lot to say, huh? Spirit want to talk about a lot of things for you, Scorpio. Spirit say, I got a lot of shit to tell you, Brown. Now, it's about Scorpio. You just don't know what's going on with Scorpio. Well, let's see then, Spirit, show us. Uh-oh. Spirit, show me Scorpio. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, these cars are jumping all out the place. Park me, Scorpio. Ooh, you got a lot of shit going on in this energy here. So we got the Eight of Pentacles here. Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, Eight of Pentacles here. What's going on here, Spirit? Three of Wands. It's something you're working on that you're waiting. You're waiting on your ships to come in. And I feel like they're coming in with this Ace of Swords. Some type of breakthrough for a brand new beginning here. And it could deal with your work because, you know, this eight keep on coming out here. What is this, seven? <laughs> here we go with these again. Wait a minute. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, yeah, eight. Eight of Pentacles, see? They go to Eight of Pentacles. You're studying something here. You're studying your work, your crafts. You're getting better at it. You're waiting on something. You're waiting on a breakthrough from something that you're working on, Scorpio. And it's here with this Ace of Wands. You're about to get a major breakthrough in whatever project you're working on, Scorpio, is what I see. A major, there's judgment. <laughs> Ooh. These cars is tripping out here. They just don't want to behave. Why you don't want to behave? Oh, uh, because I see that King of Wands and the Devil card. That's why. <laughs> somebody trying to come to you. You got somebody paying attention to you. You could be a student right now. You could be in school. You could be taking classes. And you see, I see that Queen of, Queen of Swords. So, so far, Scorpio... It's almost like you're about to graduate. Some of you guys are about to graduate from somewhere. You're about to graduate from something that's really going to open the doors for something even better here. But something that you've been working on, something you've really been putting a, a lot of hard work on. I feel like your focus is really going to pay off on something, a project, dealing with your work or, or school. And I feel like you got a graduation coming in with this judgment card. And for others, I feel like something you're working on that's about to give you a, a brand new breakthrough. And I feel like Spirit is telling you that it's time. Because see, look, you got the sun card. Spirit is saying something that you've been working on is about to make you very, very happy here. Oh, I see that emperor. Some of you guys have really taken charge and taken control over your life and your destiny here. And it's about to pay off. You'll be dealing with the Aries, a Leo, Taurus. They go to four of wands. Ooh, now here we go with that. So someone is deciding that they want a relationship with you here, I feel like. Or their celebration time could be about a celebration. You, you um, could get an invite out with this page of pentacles, I see. The 
There's the Knight of Pentacles here. And there you are as the Queen of Cups underneath the bottom here. You very you don't always show up as that Queen of Cups, Scorpio, but you're showing up in, in emotions this time. So let's see what's going on here. Let's make it make sense here. You got ace, you got new beginnings here, first of all. With the sun card and this uh four of wands, it could very well be that someone feels like you make them very, very happy, or someone's about to make you very, very happy in um committing propose somebody someone may be about to propose to somebody too let's start off with this eight of pentacles start off with the eight of pentacles you do have the chariot card and overall energy cancer energy uh this is moving forward this is traveling somebody may have purchased a new vehicle here but this is this, this is this is action this is movement here so you may be locating um for work here Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Scorpio. Why is this here? Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Scorpio. Eight of Pentacles is clarified by the moon. Could be dealing with some type of Pisces here. So there is something secretly you're working on behind the scenes. And I feel like some for some Scorpios, something secretly you're working behind the scenes. And the universe is about to give you a lot of, the universe is going to honor you in the light here. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Scorpio. Why is this here, Spirit? That world card want to come out. See, some of y'all about to travel here. And for somebody else, and for, and for, for his love is someone may have completed a cycle and not talking about it, uh, but they want to come in and work on something with you here. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles here now. I feel like this is work-related, Scorpio. I feel like something you're working with behind the scenes, you may have to travel, or you may get word. Something you're doing behind the scenes could possibly become, could, could be internet-based and could make you a lot of money with this world card and this Ten of Pentacles here. See, something you're working on that's going to make you wealthy, Scorpio. Something that you secretly, you're not talking about it. This, this is something that you're doing behind the scenes here. And I feel like it's something that's about to blow up and really bring you a lot of success, a lot of recognition, and a lot of abundance your way. What's up with this Ace of Swords for Scorpio Spirit? Why is this Ace of Swords here? That's good. See, that Ten of Pentacles ain't no joke. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Scorpio Spirit. What does this Ace of Swords, what does this Ace of Swords represent for Scorpio Spirit? Clarify the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is clarified by the Hermit. So somebody first didn't know. Somebody found out. Someone had to find out something here. Someone had to do a lot of soul searching. Could be dealing with the Virgo here. But whatever whatever they went soul searching for, if this is you, Scorpio, whatever you went to, to find out, you got it with this Ace of Swords. You, you was trying to be enlightened. You was confused about something because you do have the Moon card here. So maybe there was something that you didn't know. You were really working on it, trying to find out, but I feel like you're going to get it anyway. And then for some of you Scorpios, but now this is the eight of pentacles. This is work. I feel like this is work. I feel like this is work. This is work. Something, something that you didn't know about it. And it could be that you're just connecting with the source that has brought you all of this, these opportunities and this victory here. See, it could be something that you've been working on behind the scenes or something you've been sowing. Your time, your efforts, your resources here. And you're waiting on the on, on, on to see what's going to come of it. And I'm telling you, you got a lot of wealth and abundance that's going to come out of it here too. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Scorpio. Clarify the Ace of Swords. just keep seeing that card five of pentacles so this must be somebody trying to come to you then somebody's finally getting the truth about something someone is finally getting clarity about somebody some probably is, look it could be somebody ended a long-term relationship here someone may not be telling you about it <clears throat> oh scorpio 
But I feel like someone has gotten some type of truth or clarity about stuff that they have been investing. Someone could have been investing and losing money with the Seven of Pentacles and Five of Pentacles. Someone may be trying to figure out where did all their investments go. Because they didn't make no money off of this. I feel like if somebody, should, somebody maybe, maybe this is a fly on the wall reading here, Scorpio. Maybe this is what's showing up with, with the inner, your external here. Because the Eight of Pentacles, somebody is working here. This is someone going to school, research uh, student here. Someone is trying to find out something or maybe someone is trying to hide something about an ending perhaps. And whoever may have had an ending in a long-term relationship with this world card, a cycle completeness, Ten of Pentacles, now they're trying to figure out what happened to the money here. Somebody made some investments in in. They they got they took a loss. They took a loss on an investment here. So some some type of truth is coming out about somebody in some type of relationship that they they invested in, but they took a loss in. And I feel like all this person may have did was just work, 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 work. But something wasn't adding up in this moon energy. Ooh, so, but I feel like if something ended, now the truth is coming out because now. I feel like now they're counting their money and they're realizing that something is, is something is missing here. Now, what's up with this Ace of Wands here, Scorpio? I'm, I'm going to do another video. See the Ace of Wands? You got the Tower card and the Empress here, Scorpio. Ooh, this may be somebody else shit. Ooh, maybe this is a mother. Maybe this is a child's mother here. This, maybe this is a pregnant mother here because you do have the Ten of Pentacles here. See, you right here, the Queen of Cups. You the four pentacles is under the queen of cups. Maybe you were holding back from someone because they got shit going on here. What's up with this ace of wands for Scorpio here? Clarify the ace of wands. Ace of wands. Look. Ace of freaking swords, y'all. Oh, I can't make this up. You got, look at that. You got the ace of swords, the ace of wands. Ace of swords are already here. Now, see something that came out about a new beginning here. Or, or someone has ended a new beginning. Someone was a new beginning. A beginning was cut short. Something was cut off here. Look, justice could be a Libra. Could have been a relationship with the hyphen. Could be a Taurus or a a Tor uh, a Libra here. Somebody cut off something. In this is crazy. Ooh, Scorpio. I feel like someone was trying to figure out, well, damn, if we had, if we had all of this, why is this showing up? Because I know I have been doing the work with the seven of pentacles and the eight of pentacles, but something is not adding up here with the money. So someone trying to figure out something, soul searching, trying to figure it out. And I feel like this is what spirit is showing them. Somebody they could have been with was probably spending money. We saw that Empress could have been a somebody who somebody had a child by Scorpio. Ooh. Could be a baby's mama or it could be their mother. Because the Ten of Pentacles does represent legacies, grandparents, cousins, aunts, uncles. Could be a mother that was spending up their money here. And if it, if it, if it, somebody, I feel like somebody may have went to court because I feel like something came out. Somebody may have went to court with this Ace of Swords just as in this Hierophant here. I feel like they had to take something to court. Clarify this Ace of Swords. Clarify this Ace of Wands for Scorpio Spirit. There it is. There go that house. There, there go that family. You got the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. Somebody shit. Somebody was not managing their money, I feel like. And it could have been a family. It could have been a mother here that was constantly spending up money. But I feel like they had to go to court. I feel like they, it, it could be whoever this person is who is in your energy, Scorpio. They're ending something with a child's mother. They're ending it. They could have been married to this person. But it's coming to an end because I don't know if it's because the money is missing. It must have been a lot of money missing then. I feel like whoever the child's mother is did a lot of spending. And it really put them in the poorhouse here. 
They went from the Ten of Pentacles to the Five of Pentacles. So this like their income been cut in half, but the cut in half is a loss. And I feel like the baby mama been using it some kind of way. See, you got judgment here. Someone is, is deciding something. Now, what's up with this page of swords? Somebody went digging up some information here. Now, this may be a Scorpio flat on the wall. Sometimes these readings come up and it's just showing you your person energy. So this is what it seems like it is here because I don't see you. I feel like this is somebody else. Clarify this page of swords for Scorpio. Look, page of swords, page of swords. See, somebody went digging up something. You know they did with this hermit card. They may have been checking their they bank records and shit. They could have been checking files and stuff. It feel like something wasn't adding up here. What did they find out, Spirit? Clarify this page of swords for Scorpio. Page of swords want to fly back out. Clarify the page of swords, Spirit. What did they find out? They found out that they ain't going to be able to start do bad shit big no more. That Ten of Pentacles done dwindled down, and this is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and I'm going to take it like this because I don't want to get it confused. But I, I don't want to take it as reverse, but I'm going to leave it here so you can see this is how it came out. This is what they found out, that a lot of money is missing. Ooh, Scorpio. Mm -mm. Ooh, clarify this page of swords. The Star card. So this is somebody's, somebody's trying to heal. Somebody's wish came, came true. Who could be an Aquarius that's going through this here? But I see the Queen of Cups in the reverse here. Okay, I ain't going to take the reverse. But I want you to see it. So maybe this person is looking at this. Somebody got some money. Got a, a big lump sum of money out because they were trying to make their dreams come true. That's their wish fulfilled. Because I feel like they were doing something for themselves and they didn't tell nobody. See, six of wands. See, somebody was stealing money. I feel like so because they want to look like the man. Or they want to look like they all eyes on them. So someone may have, especially with their emperor showing up, Someone may have liked to look the part here. I feel like someone was living above their means. They may have not been living above their means, especially if you got the Ten of Pentacles. But I just feel like they 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 didn't they wasn't putting back in. They were just taken out. Because somebody wanted to look important. Somebody wanted to look important. Someone wanted a, the attention on them. So they took out a big lump sum of money in this ace of pentacles just so they can look good, y'all. Ooh. Wow, Scorpio. How does this have to do with... All right, Spirit. Clarify three of ones for Scorpio. Why is this here, Spirit? Page of Pentacles. So this person is waiting on some good news here. They trying to manifest and make something happen. They trying to change their... They, they trying to get some, they waiting on some good news about some money because they done lost some money. So maybe they're hoping that all is not lost, but I feel like it is lost. But then again, you went from the 10 to the 5. They got a little something, something left, but it ain't nothing like it used to be here. And now this person's trying to get it back here. They feel like somebody done done them wrong. <sighs> Clarify the uh, three of wands. The sun card, it came up in the reverse though, but I'm not going to do the reverse. The sun card here. Somebody wants to be happy again. Someone wants that abundance back in their life. They're waiting on things to turn around. They're waiting to, for some, some good news to come in about some money because they want to be happy about that money again. <laughs> could be a Leo, could be an Aquarius here, could be a Taurus, could be a Libra, could be a Virgo, could be a Pisces here. Ooh, Scorpio, now you got the judgment here. Now, why is judgment here for Scorpio spirit? Clarify judgment. Judgment, the emperor in reverse. This is kind of like my collective reading. Y'all saw, we saw the empress. I saw the emperor. This is emperor in reverse. There's a judgment against this masculine person. So it must have been the part, the... 
whoever the masculine was, Scorpio, they're the ones that mishandled the money because they wanted attention. And you know the emperor in reverse ain't no good ass energy to be around. They mishandle abuse of power here. I'm not going to take it in the reverse, but you see it's in the reverse here. This is what they are. They, they, wanted, they wanted to be recognized. They wanted attention on them. So it could be a family here. Not a romantic family, but like your family family. Especially This could be um, a granddad here that, that misused money here. But I feel like it's your person here because this is family here that they had the money and whoever your person was was getting the money they were going in the account getting money that they should not have been getting all because they need to be looked upon like they the shit here and they didn't get no little money they got some big money in this ace of pentacles energy here but I feel like they're taking this person to court. See, it's a it's a lot of family shit in here. This is a lot of family. And this is family shit that's going on here, Scorpio. Clarify judgment for Scorpio spirit. Why is this here? Knight of Pentacles. They go to Knight of Pentacles. Because this person didn't want to put their work in. They say it was taking too long. Because you remember the emperor was in reverse this person didn't want to take their time and work for it and to build it up. They felt like if they family got it, they should have it in this Ten of Pentacles here. I feel like this person just may have had access to a family inheritance or money and they went and got something that they was not supposed to get. And now the law was coming at them. And now I feel like their family is going to be broken apart. The bond that this person may have had with their family is going to be an end because they're going to have to go to court for this. And I feel like whoever taking them to court is going to win with this Ace of Swords because, see, because see, they, had, they had good private investigators. You saw the Page of Swords twice. They had good and private investigators that found out that they'd withdrawn a big lump sum of money all because, and then they probably did a paper trade. They said because they didn't went and bought a new ride. You know, they, they want to look like something here. You know, they want to be a star. They, they, oh, wow. That's what I'm getting, y'all. Oh, wow, Scorpio. So, like I said, this Knight of Pentacles, we saw the Emperor that was in reverse. This person didn't want to work on it. They feel like if the family got it, they got it. And so, but they didn't use it for nothing beneficial. No, they used, see, this person felt stuck. This person didn't want to put the work in. Somebody person didn't want to put their work in, Scorpio. But they but they rather steal it from the family because to look like they had it instead of actually work for it. And they took a lot of it. They took a lot of that money too. Because you went from the Ten of Pentacles to the Five of Pentacles. So they took a lot of that money, especially in that Ace of Pentacles. They did. And they went and bought up a whole bunch of stunting ass shit here. Uh, but, but I feel like the law was going to be on them. So now you got this Four of Wands here. Why is this Four of Wands here for Scorpio Spirit? Clarify Four of Wands. The full card. So this person probably went by the home and, and, and all types of shit because they want to start over. They say, shit, why I can't start over? Why I ain't got no house and no land? But it seems like the rest of the family did the work. It's like your person was stuck on the bling and, and the looking good here. They wanted to stunt. They didn't want to put their work in with this Knight of Pentacles and the hangman. Whew. But there is a judgment against them, though. So this could very well be them trying to come back to you now that they done got some money, Scorpio. They they got all this, this shit going on behind the scenes with their family. And look, they go that page of swords again. They done went got all this shit going on in their family. They done stole from the family's uh, treasury. Uh, now they're going to try to come back to you and act like they big boss in here in the emperor energy. But you remember, they're in the reverse. They want to act like they're taking control and, and they're 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 wealthy, but it really is stolen. And maybe they would have got it in, uh, when it's time to get it, you know. Uh, but I feel like this person, it's almost like maybe their family didn't fool with this person because they were lazy and didn't want to put the work in like everybody else. They just they knew it was money, so they felt entitled to money that they did not work for, especially if it was generational or. Um, inheritance they could have been uh picking into the inheritance money or money that was left over for the collective of the family but they go take out a big chunk of it because they want their flowers while they're alive <laughs> they probably went and said screw that i need me a house i'm gonna go get me a car i feel like this is what they went and did and now they probably finna come to you scorpio 
Could be an Aries. Could be a fire sign with the four wands and the fool card. This person was very, very foolish is what Spirit's saying. See? Could be a Capricorn here. See, this person and lost their goddamn mind. See, they acting like they don't know what they doing here. Maybe this person is blinding. Maybe this person is... Whew. So I feel like this person going to try to come to you, Scorpio, with this four wands and this fool card. Because they want to start old, but they going to come in here like, baby, I'll buy a house. Let's move in together. Let's hang out or something. But really, they got they got other unhealthy attachments, and I feel like it's them. And they, they're going to be in denial. They're going to act like they don't know that, that they are a problem because they are. Uh, why they trying to come to you and start over. They come to you to start over off somebody else's money, I feel like. And this person may come in looking good. They may have the best of car. They may have bought them a crib. They may have a lot of materialistic things, but they stole it, I feel like, from the family. Could be a Leo with the sun card here. Ooh, Scorpio. See, told you they coming to you that they may have got them a new car. I feel like this person got a lot of that money just, just so they'll look good when they come to you. Clarify the sun card for Scorpio. Sun card. This person wants to win at all costs because they're listening to their ego and their devil energy. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be a Capricorn, a Leo, Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Pisces, Aries. See, this person had to win at all costs. See, this person want to, want to, want to, this person... Could be a Leo that want to win at all costs, but it could just be that this person means to be happy in any kind of way that they can. They want to be the one that the sun is shining on. They want to be the one that's in spite of the uh, that all the attention is coming on here. Ooh, see, they, look, they go that, they go that strength card in reverse for some of y'all. It's a Leo here. Clarify the sun for Scorpio. Told you they coming. They coming to you because they want to stunt. They want to show you how good they doing now, Scorpio. They want to show you that they living a good life. But behind the scenes, please believe, they got the law after they ass. They old folk. They done took money that I felt like could have been theirs, but it wasn't the right time. I feel like this person had work to do to get it, but they don't want to do it. They feel like if it's mine, I should be able to get it now. And they wanted to get it. Now they finna come to you acting like they the shit with the sun card and this chariot card and this five of swords. See? They're going to come to you like they so happy and everything is all good. But please believe behind the scenes, they done did something they didn't have no business doing. But the reason why this person's coming to you, Scorpio, because this person is still in love with you. And this two of cups energy, but they just wasn't shit. I feel like this person fell off because they're karmic. Because really this showed up in the reverse. Two of cups and a knight of cups. This is how they're trying to come to you. They're trying to come like they generous and like they got it like that. But really, they're just really a karmic soulmate now. That's coming in here to trying to spit their game to you. They're going to try to act like they happy as hell. But like the spirits say behind the scenes, they didn't they done got away with something. They done did something they shouldn't have been doing. Ooh, see? I write this Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio. Why is this here? See, Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. I feel like this person snuck out on hard work. They, they were deceptive. They're going to try to act like they got it out the mud and that they, they worked hard. But really what it is, this person was just lazy and didn't want to put their work in. They thought that if it was money available for the family, that they were entitled to it. So I feel like this is what they did. They had access to it and they got it. Hmm, that's what they did. Clarify this knight of, knight of coins. See, and there's a lot of bullshit going on in that family. See, what they did created a whole bunch of mess. Seven of swords and ten of swords, all because they didn't want to do what they supposed to do here. And this knight of pentacles here. See, they left a lot of bad blood in their family is what they did. Because I feel like they didn't take no little money. They took a lot of money. Like I said, it went from the Ten of Pentacles to this Five of Pentacles here. They could have been saying, well, shit, I, I, I deserve it. I mean, it, it's for me too. Maybe they, maybe they got tired of waiting on it. But I feel like this is someone investigating why the money wasn't added up. Because they had to try to figure this out in the Hermit card. And I feel like they found out with this Ace of Swords. Because remember, you got the Page of Swords. They, they went, they, it's an investigator. 
The investigator found out that this person didn't 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 get just a little money out. No, they they finna start their whole life over. They all because they want to look like somebody. See, they 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 weren't even smart. They were being arrogant. They five of swords energy, but the move that they made broke up, burnt a lot of bridges in their family here with the seven of swords and ten of swords. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio. See, all because they want to act like they're a self-made millionaire, a self-made person, Scorpio. When all actuality, if they come around you and they got all this money and, and bling, they didn't, they didn't work for it. No, they didn't. They stole it. They stole it from their family. They stole it out of the the families, the family's income. The, the they had a they, so somebody had a big lump sum of money. Someone had access to, and they didn't want to put in the work. So this person wanted to look like somebody without doing the work. They felt entitled. So now this person is selfish now. Uh, but they finna get in trouble though, cause they done burned a lot of bridges. I feel like they've destroyed the bond within their family. Maybe they didn't have no strong bond, cause we saw that uh, Empress. I feel like it's it's uh, their mother. I feel like they they had a bad relationship with their mother here. I feel like they had a bad relationship with their mother. You got the six of cups here. This person is upset with their mother because of their childhood. They're upset with they. So somebody has still has mummy issues, Scorpio. They still got mummy issues. So they felt entitled to something. And it could have been the mama's money. But I feel like they moved in on their mother's money because they felt entitled because of the lack that they had experienced when they were a kid. See? That's what it is. That's what it is, Scorpio. Look, I'm sorry. That's what came out. This is your part. This is a fly on the wall. They they gonna come to you now. They are. This is why you're showing up. But Spirit is also telling you this Queen of Cups hold back. Spirit say hold back from this person because this person is dealing with a karmic family. Look, they go that Empress in reverse, just like that Emperor was. Spirit is telling you that this person has come from a karmic ass family. They could be, this person could be stolen from their mother, their karmic mother and their dad with this empress in reverse. They could, they could have been, um, I just like somebody left, left the family a lot of money, but this person's taking it out on their parents because they were sorry parents to them. This is why spirit's telling you, they're going to come back and try to play on your emotions. Hold back from this person. Don't give them shit. Don't give them your emotions. Don't give them your attentions. Hold back because this person got a lot of karmic attachments to the wrong things here. Because you remember, you got the devil card. They coming to you with this new beginning, but look what they're attached to. They're attached to karmics with this devil energy, but they're oblivious. They don't even see their own faults. It's like this person and then, then lost their goddamn mind when it came to money, Scorpio. Who Scorpio spirit say hold back from this person because they're going to come in looking good as hell. They're going to smell good. They're going to have money. They're going to have all that shit. They're going to have a new everything. But they are karmic and their whole family attached to them are karmic. And this person is going to receive bad karma uh, because it's what they sown. And it's like, it's like their legacy is, is damaged. It's like the whole family, the whole legacy is damaged here. It's damaged here. They, you know what they say? You can take a person out the hood, out the ghetto, but you can't take the ghetto out the person. Like this, they, they're not used to nothing. How you going to go from the 10 to the 5? You know, they, they're not used to nothing. And I feel like it's a generational thing that's going on here, Scorpio. And they got the nerd to try to come back to you because they feel their soul made connection with you, Scorpio. But they didn't want to come to you looking sorry and without. They wanted to come to you looking like they was the shit, but it's all a lie. They ain't shit. <laughs> All right, Scorpio, this is what I have for you. <laughs> so if this video resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Scorpio, look, it is what it is. That's why I'm going to put you out another video at least. Hopefully that'll, that'll resonate a little bit more. But this seemed a little bit more personal. But this is what came out. Uh, thank you guys so much for your support. Please thumbs up this video. Leave me a comment, Scorpio. And I'll talk to you on the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpios.